Trying to catch her while she's working on the table saw. It's her second day working on a table saw. He's talking about mom. Um, uh, yeah. She made the uh, chicken tractor you're going to be seeing later in this episode. But yeah, that when dad says her, she, talking about mom. So, yeah. Shout out to you, mom. Love you. There she is inside the garage. Right beside where Caleb's going in. She's, uh, she's building our chicken tractor, our home for our chickens. And right now, she's doing some sort of advanced work on the table saw. We're cutting out these notches so the boards fit perfectly with each other. And she's doing some even in the middle of the boards where it's got a notch for things to fit, almost like furniture. Um, that's not normally the way I would do things. It's a, it's a very quality way of doing things. But uh, we're trying to build our first uh, chicken tractor uh, with John Siskovich plans. That's the way he's he prefers to do it so that all the pieces lock together, I guess nicer. Um, he's building something that's going to really last. You can see, uh, let's see, where's all those boards? All these diagrams of boards and how they need to be notched out. That's what she's doing right now. So you don't get to see Cindy very much. She's not on the videos a whole lot, mostly Caleb and I. But today she's doing a lot of cool work. Good morning, everybody. We're kind of slow. I think all of us are slow this morning. Catching up to us. So we're talking about the gable. We finally finished it up. Doesn't it look perfect? <laughs> we just have siding to do. So the reason for the gable was the roof is so long and flat and just plain that we thought adding something to make the roof pop a little bit would be a good idea. And so Todd designed this gable to go over the door and we're gonna do a porch also, like an entryway porch to break the up the shape. front of the house. Yeah, same shape. So. Which we need to get started on sometime soon. So we just, siding and roofing is what the gable needs to be completely finished. And once that stuff gets going, we should see a lot of change. Actually, I see some fascia that needs to be, the board needs to be replaced. So it will be white and sided like the rest of the house, except the gable, it's the, not the gable, the vent in the middle will be painted black. And I'm thinking we're gonna have black gutters. Are we having black gutters or no? White gutters. White gutters. But the windows will be outlined in black. And then the front part will have timber in the porch. And then the front door will also be timber colored, right? So. This is our first magnolia blossom since we've owned the farm. It smells good. And it's beautiful. It smells kind of I've like always, lemon. I've always wanted my own magnolia. And it's an oldie, but she's given, oh, there's another flower. She's given us some good flowers. So magnolias and gardenias. So these are magnolia leaves. Oh yeah. And these are not. Don't touch those. That would be. If you don't know how to identify poison ivy. That's it. Stare closely at these leaves. <laughs> we have way more poison ivy on this farm than I comfortable with. It's all under we the need tree our too. goats. Of course they won't climb the tree. But... Let's go look at the chicken tractor. Here is our chicken tractor. We are planning on raising meat chickens. The person who designed this chicken tractor says it will hold 30. I I'm a little skeptical that I want to put 30 chickens because 
I want the chickens that we raise to only have five bad minutes in their whole life. I want them to be happy and healthy and ranging well and the only five minutes would be their last five minutes. We salvaged most of this wood from the house. We did buy a couple uh, pieces. At least half. More than half. Yeah. And yeah. Most of it. Built it. I did cut most of the wood. And I did make the lap joints. And Clay helped me bend the pipe. Todd screwed a bunch of stuff together. It's been a collaborative effort. The top bar is bamboo. Yeah, I made a mistake. We, I was supposed to farm. buy five pieces of conduit and so we were bending and I was bending 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 and the last one wasn't supposed to be bending it was supposed to be straight so instead of buying another one I walked down to the pond and cut a piece of bamboo and strapped it across the top and it's gonna be just fine and then there's a tarp to cover it goes to the ground on one side to give them a break from the wind and there will be hanging feeders and waterers in here and and it gets moved once a day it has wheels on the back and every day it gets moved to fresh pasture and normally the life cycle of a particular breed of meat chicken cornish crosses go eight weeks and is it red rangers that we haven't we haven't done those yet but i think they go 12 weeks from chick to chick to freezer <laughs> so our plan in the future is to have of these chicken crackers. Yeah, I mean, at yeah. least five, maybe more. And then have a constant flow of chickens. And then behind this chicken tractor, we purchased a small little pen, and I'm gonna build a chicken house out of some leftover bookcase material, actually. And hopefully in the next two weeks, we have 15 laying hens at home, and we will be bringing them up here. We can put out our poultry netting when we're here, it's electrified and they can range themselves and then when we're not here we can put them in the pen and in the house and lock them up so that they're safe so that is our current chicken status obviously this is the door I'm gonna show you about how it works because it's built lightweight we have these little metal brackets in the corners to try to keep it solid and steady so when the tractor's sitting there and you're about to move it because the chickens move to fresh grass every day, you just stop and put the wheels on. Go to the front over here. Lift up the rope and move it. You would move it for one full length of oh, chicken tractor space. <laughs> But I'm putting it back since we're not doing that today. And that's it. You take the wheels off and it's sitting down on the ground where animals can't really get in there unless they have a lot of time to dig or something. But if you're moving it every day, they'd have to start a new burrow every day trying to get into it. Uh -huh.